It's a 2009 Pontiac Vibe. Uh, it's basically got a Toyota engine and transmission. This is a U250E transmission. And what I want to do is replace the SL1 solenoid. Uh, I've got a fault code P0748 pressure control solenoid A electrical DTC trouble code SL1 solenoid. Um, what I'm showing is that you can get through your wiring harness unplugged, but this solenoid won't come out unless you pull this up and out some more. So I'm going to unbolt the filter and then see if I can loosen up the other bolts just to pull it off enough to slip this out without actually having to take the valve body off of the vehicle. So you've got to re loosen up 17 bolts um, and there's some more up here on top of the valve body you've got to remove and then it'll loosen up enough where you can pull it up and just slide it out without having to take the whole valve body off. So if you're under the car and you want to do this, the valve body is going to come falling down if you don't have it supported. And if you have that come off, there's a couple of pieces in there that are spring-loaded, and getting them back in the car when you're underneath it is a huge pain in the butt. Um, so we'll get this tested and see what happens. So to test this, we've got a 9-volt battery set up with a couple of leads. I've got the negative connected to the negative, and then the positive, just kind of run a bare wire. Now ideally what will happen is, when you touch this, it will click. I'm getting a little bit of a spark, but no click. So here's the new one. So this is the new one set up, and just listen for the click. So we know we've got a good working one, and I've already uh, ohm checked it out at 5.6 volts, which is within spec. There's still a lot of work to get done to get this all put back together. I've got the motor completely torn apart, so it'll be a little while before I can actually follow up to make sure that this resolved the issue with the P0748 pressure control solenoid A electrical DTC trouble code SL1 solenoid uh, problem that it was having. Basically, it was not getting uh, first gear pressurized uh, to make the vehicle move. So I've got a new computer in the car already, ordered that online, which has a different topic because it came with sand in it. Um, I've taken this valve body out before and I've cleaned it all the way through, made sure everything was functioning and springing the way it's supposed to. So now I'm just going to button this back up.